and welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Girls Frontline, where I review the various tea dolls you could get in this gacha mobile game. So, the recent Division collaboration event is over on the three old servers, but it hasn't started yet on the EN server, so I'm giving you guys a head up on what to expect with the exclusive dolls you will get from this event. So, in this episode, I will talk about Agent Vector first. Chris Vector is a submachine gun developed by Chris USA, formerly Transformational Defense Industries, or TDI. One very notable feature of this SMG is that it used an unconventional delayed blowback system that directed an inertia block downward, countering the muzzle climb that would have occurred in a conventionally designed firearm. This feature has garnered it quite a reputation, and it has in fact underwent two generations of redesigning, with the current gen accepting other pistol caliber rounds besides the 45 ACP such as 9mm Parabellum, 40 SNW, 10mm Auto, 357 SIG, and interestingly, the 22 long rifle. Exactly why this was done, I have no goddamn clue whatsoever. Honestly, I'm kinda disappointed that Mikar is just gonna shove in a vector copy as a event exclusive character when this thing exists. Like what does it fire, why does it have a GPU for a magazine, does it generate and fire bitcoins at people, I have so many questions, but anyway, what's the difference between vector and agent vector? Well, they share the same stat, and you can expect to use both of them as sub tank, the only difference is in their skill. At level 10, agent vector's skill, mobile cover, well, deploy a mobile cover in front of them after an initial 6 second cooldown, this cover lasts 8 seconds, has health point equals to 15% of agent vector's max health, and has a taunt effect that attract all incoming enemy fire. So here's the problem, it's not even going to last 1 second with agent vector being level 100, this would mean that the mobile cover has 138.75 health points, 139 if girls frontline believes in rounding up. Compared to the actual taunt fairy's dummy target, which has 1600 health at level 10, this seems ridiculously small, and also keep in mind that the cover has no evasion, so it's going to die in less than a second and agent vector is going to be liquidated very soon. But thankfully, that's where the special skill effect from agent vector's special skill comes in. Agent vector has three special equipment, all of which can be equipped at once. The 45 incendiary hollow point which you could buy from the shop, the Osprey 45 silencer, as a drop from fighting boss vector, which is probably how enemies see vector as, and vectors go back, as a reward for clearing a mission. I was supposed to make a complaint about attaching an equipment as a rare drop from a rather harsh boss, but I got both Agent Vector and Agent 416 special equipment drop in the second day, after 10 runs total. So I kinda cannot complain. Also, all these equipment came calibrated, so you just need to upgrade them fully, which is a lot less punishing than the material cost I spent on upgrading Clay's special equipment that she can't even fully use. Anyway, all these special equipment share the same exact stat as their normal gold counterpart, so the most important thing is the special skill effects they give. When equipping two of her special equipment, Vector can set down more mobile covers for allies on the same lane as her, mobile covers which get taken down just as quickly as the first one. With all three equipped, Vector also gained a final skill passive that, upon the destruction of the mobile cover, the person the cover was protecting gets a 100% evasion buff and 20% damage reduction for 5 seconds, which is a pretty big deal. The evasion buff is good, but a direct damage reduction is quite powerful. Now I'm also wondering if the 100% evasion buff means a evasion tank gets a 100% evasion buff on top of their original buff, or if this means that it just doubled their evasion entirely. The possibility is terrifying. However, this basically means that without the special equipment, Agent Vector is useless. So, unlike what I previously thought before, the special skills gained from the special equipment didn't turn Agent Vector's skill from good to great, it turned their skill from mediocre to just okay. As for her buff tile, Agent Vector can buff ART dolls in two slots behind her for 12% damage and 35% accuracy buff. Compared to original Vector who can only buff one ART doll for 25% rate of fire buff, that's an improvement. So, Final question, is Agent Vector good? Well, she's okay. With all three of her equipment, she can make the main tank last longer under enemy fire and could work as a main tank for a while too. But why bother making your main tank tougher when you could just murder everyone? In short, Agent Vector is a touch more on the defense than I would prefer, I still recommend using just plain Vector more. But hey, 
if you found a situation where setting enemies on fire doesn't work, Agent Vector is there to help you. Or maybe you just need to murder hard. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.